What would you do if you discovered that everything we thought we knew about the universe could be wrong? That the cosmos we believe to be random and chaotic is instead whispering patterns, rhythms, and signatures of order? The James Webb Space Telescope, humanity's most advanced eye into the deep universe, has just sent back data that does more than raise questions. It provokes fear. For decades, astronomy has painted a picture of galaxies slowly forming, of planets born through simple cosmic mechanics, of a universe expanding under predictable rules. But Webb has shattered that fragile illusion. Its images show galaxies older than they should be, planets too massive to exist where they are, and signals that pulse with a rhythm no one can explain. NASA, once eager to broadcast every new discovery, has suddenly grown cautious, secretive. Because when the universe itself seems to defy physics, you don't just update the textbooks. You confront the possibility that reality is far stranger and far more intentional than we ever imagined. Among Webb's discoveries, the most haunting is not a single anomaly, but the pattern that repeats across the data. Galaxies aligned with suspicious precision, clusters forming geometries too neat for chaos, and faint signals beating in rhythms no natural process should produce. Astronomers describe it as though the universe itself is leaving behind a hidden signature, a watermark imprinted on space and time, waiting for us to notice. Webb, with its unmatched resolution, has stripped away the noise and revealed the design, as if lifting a veil we were never meant to see behind. Scientists used to dismiss symmetry in the cosmos as coincidence, artifacts of perspective, or the product of statistical noise. But Webb has eliminated those excuses. The precision is merciless, the alignment undeniable. And once you see the order, you cannot go back to believing in chaos. It is as though the universe has been speaking all along, and only now do we have the ears to hear. The most disturbing signal came not in light but in sound, or rather, in rhythm. Webb's instruments detected pulses of energy repeating with eerie regularity, coming from regions of space that appear completely empty. They are not pulsars, they are not quasars, and they are not equipment malfunctions. They are beats, precise and deliberate, like the distant pounding of a drum in the void. For astronomers used to the silence of space, this is like hearing a knock at the door when you weren't expecting anyone. Each pulse arrives with such consistency that chance becomes an impossible explanation. And yet, no known astrophysical process fits the pattern. It is as if the cosmos is marking its presence, leaving a breadcrumb trail of intention. NASA's official line is cautious, unexplained signals pending analysis. But privately, insiders admit that the discovery has unsettled even the most seasoned scientists. Because if these rhythms are intentional, then the question is no longer what we are hearing, but who. Webb has not revealed isolated curiosities, but a chorus of anomalies scattered across the sky. Galaxies too massive, too mature, appearing only 180 million years after the supposed Big Bang, when there should not have been enough time for such structures to exist. Exoplanets the size of giants orbiting stars that should never have hosted them, with no disks of dust or debris to explain their birth. Structures stretching across billions of light years, arranged like grids, like scaffolding across the fabric of space. Each anomaly could perhaps be explained in isolation, a fluke, a miscalculation, an edge case. But together, they tell a story that cannot be ignored. The more Webb sees, the more the puzzle pieces fit into a picture we were never prepared to confront. That the universe is not evolving under chance, but following instructions. It is not chaos, but choreography. And that revelation is forcing scientists to reevaluate not only their equations, but their philosophy of existence itself. At first, NASA celebrated Webb's discoveries as triumphs, releasing dazzling images to the public. But as the anomalies piled up, the tone shifted. Briefings became more controlled, statements more vague, data more carefully filtered. Insiders leaked that closed-door meetings grew tense, with some officials insisting the information remain classified until fully understood. The word panic is not often used in the halls of science, but it echoed in private discussions nonetheless. Because what do you do when the universe itself seems to break the rules? 
If galaxies formed before they were supposed to, if invisible structures bend space in ways we cannot model, if signals pulse like messages in the dark, then science itself is standing on unstable ground. For NASA, the panic is not just about what Webb has seen, but about what comes next. Because once the universe begins to look intentional, every discovery becomes not just data, but a question. Who or what designed it? As more data poured in, one undeniable truth emerged. Webb was showing us a universe that seemed older than it should be. Entire galaxies, some larger than the Milky Way, appeared so early in cosmic history that their very existence was impossible under current models. For decades, astrophysicists believed it would take billions of years for galaxies to reach such size and maturity. Yet Webb was showing them fully formed, glittering with billions of stars, in a time when the cosmos should still have been cloaked in darkness. The implications struck like a thunderclap. If these galaxies exist, then either the universe had a head start we never accounted for, or our understanding of time itself is flawed. To many, this was the moment theory collapsed into shock, when equations that had stood unchallenged for a century began to look like little more than fragile guesses. One of the most unsettling aspects of Webb's discoveries was not just their impossibility, but their elegance. The symmetry of galaxies, the precision of massive cosmic filaments, the uniformity of structures stretched across billions of light years. These features did not look random. They looked arranged. Scientists used words they rarely dared to use in public. Design, intention, blueprint. Were these vast alignments simply the hidden architecture of gravity? Or were they the fingerprints of something greater, an intelligence embedded in the fabric of creation itself? Some theorists whispered that Webb might not just be observing the universe, but staring directly at its code, a set of instructions written into the cosmos like programming in a machine. If that were true, then every anomaly, every inexplicable pattern, was not a mistake. It was a message. And messages, by their nature, are meant to be read. Inside the scientific community, Webb's revelations split researchers into camps. Some clung desperately to the old models, inventing exotic particles or unseen forces to patch the cracks in their theories. Others admitted quietly that the data was pointing somewhere new, somewhere terrifying, where the rules of physics would have to be rewritten from the ground up. But beyond the scientific debates, something deeper stirred. Fear. Because rewriting physics doesn't just mean revising textbooks. It means acknowledging that everything humanity has built, from technology to philosophy, might be standing on unstable foundations. The fracture was not only in theory, it was in confidence. For the first time in modern history, scientists were no longer sure that the universe could be understood at all. As NASA scrambled to control the narrative, a storm was already brewing outside their walls. Independent astronomers, armed with smaller telescopes and access to Webb's raw data, began confirming the anomalies. Word spread across forums, research papers, and conferences that something extraordinary was unfolding. Public curiosity turned to suspicion. Why was NASA suddenly silent about the strangest findings? Why did their press releases focus on colorful images while ignoring the deeper implications? The pressure mounted, and with it, the sense of urgency. Because if Webb had truly uncovered proof that the universe was older, stranger, and perhaps intentional, then humanity was standing on the edge of a revelation it could neither fully explain nor control. And that is why panic did not stay locked behind closed doors. It began to seep into the public, spreading like wildfire, as people realized that something in the universe was not working the way it should. The James Webb Telescope was supposed to be humanity's crowning achievement, the machine that would finally confirm the Big Bang, chart the formation of the first galaxies, and give us certainty about our place in the cosmos. Instead, it has thrown everything into doubt. Its images of fully formed galaxies at the dawn of time, its detection of impossible planetary systems, and its glimpse of structures too vast and too precise to be the work of chance have not brought clarity. They have brought fear. Inside NASA, behind closed doors, panic has grown not because the telescope failed, but because it succeeded too well. The data is undeniable. 
the evidence overwhelming, and yet the answers remain out of reach? What if the universe is not random? What if it is governed by rules we cannot comprehend, or worse, written by an intelligence so far beyond us that our physics looks like child's play in comparison? These questions are no longer philosophical musings. They are scientific necessities, forced upon us by the very images Webb has delivered. And while officials reassure us with silence and carefully chosen words, the truth remains unavoidable. The universe is no longer behaving as we believed. It is older, stranger, and perhaps far more deliberate than we ever dared to imagine. The panic at NASA is not just about rewriting theories. It is about facing a reality that could rewrite humanity itself. If you want to follow every update, every web image, and every revelation as this story unfolds, like this video, subscribe, and turn on notifications, because the next discovery may not just unsettle science, it may change the destiny of our species.